team champion, Cowboy Bob Kelly. Kelly. His opponent on my right in the white wrestling tights from New York City, New York, weighing 238 pounds, the internationally famous intern. Intern. This match, two out of three falls, will have a 30-minute time limit. Paul Morton is our referee, and he reminds the wrestlers of the rules and regulations of the Mississippi State Athletic Commission. On Monday at the Civic Center in Laurel, Tuesday at the Pascagoula Sports Center, then Pascagoula at the corner of Market Street and Ingalls Avenue. And by the way, you get your advance sale tickets for Pascagoula from Marie Dickens at the Market Street Car Wash, 110 Market Street. Wednesday, the old Pineville Gym in Pineville, Mississippi. Thursday, the Wade Kennedy Livestock Show Arena in Hattiesburg. On Friday, outdoors at the Mississippi Alabama Fairgrounds in Meridian. And on Saturday, Gulf Coast Sports Center, or rather on 30th Avenue, Gulf Coast Sports Center, 30th Avenue in Gulf Port. And we'll look forward to seeing you at the matches. Doors open at 7, first match starts at 8.15. Cowboy Bob Kelly and the intern. Another takedown by Cowboy Bob Kelly on the intern, a count of one on the intern. Referee checking that the intern's shoulders are not on the mat. Cowboy Bob Kelly with the advantage now on the intern. The intern pulled there. Referee Paul Morton warns the intern about pulling hair. Count of one on Cowboy Bob Kelly. Good to be back home at Channel 7. Back home. This is where I started doing the wrestling on television about 13 or 14 years ago. Some of you may remember when we did the programs live on Saturday night from Channel 7. It's been a good while ago. A lot of water under the bridge since then. Always a great bunch of guys to work with here at Channel 7 in Hattiesburg. And we're happy to be back here taping our programs. Anytime you're in Hattiesburg on Friday mornings at 9 o'clock, that's when we do the taping for television, and you're invited to the television matches at the studio of WBAM TV, Channel 7 in Hattiesburg. Any Friday morning at 9 o'clock, be here, of course, around 8.30, and we'd be happy to have you at the television matches. Count of one on Cowboy Bob Kelly. Overhead wrist lock. Each wrestler pitting strength against strength, power against power, and the intern used hair. Kelly goes into a hammer lock, and the intern switches it into an overhead wrist lock, and now Kelly with the advantage in the wrist lock. By Kelly. Referee Paul Morton warns Cowboy Bob Kelly. Fans at ringside tell the referee that the intern used hair. Strength against strength. The intern against Cowboy Bob Kelly. Kelly with the advantage, and the intern pulled hair. Hammerlock on the intern by Cowboy Bob Kelly. Remember now, there will be several 
City Tag Team Championship matches this week. So far, no one team is even close to having the five Tag Team Championship jackets from the five cities in Mississippi. And remember, the team that gets all five jackets will receive a $1,000 bonus and will get a trophy. There's a lot of interest in this, and a lot of the wrestlers are very interested in receiving the $1,000 bonus. A couple of knee drops on the intern's arm. A series of knee drops by Cowboy Bob Kelly on the intern. And the intern is forced to submit. The intern is forced to submit Cowboy Bob Kelly, the winner of the first fall in this two out of three fall match. The intern submits to a series of knee drops at the hands of Cowboy Bob Kelly.